What are you looking for when you're judging prime events? Am I looking at you or in the camera? Both ways. Okay. Whichever you feel like. Alright, cool. So what I'm looking for when I'm judging prime events kind of depends on the level of prime that I'm judging. If it's the bronze and newcomer level, what I'm really interested in is beautiful posture, lovely frame, very clean footwork, and uh, staying on time to the music. That's just the criteria at that level. Um, I don't like it when bronze level overdances or overreaches or tries to do too much. It should be really clean and really good form. By silver level, what I'm looking for is a lot more power and movement across the floor, uh, a few more expressive shapes, like taking some um, wrists a little bit, like pushing the envelope. So starting to, to challenge themselves a little bit more. Um, definitely though, numero uno is like just getting more drive and more power across the floor and bigger shapes, uh, bigger frame and uh, more expression with the music. Uh, by the time we get to gold and open level, what I'm looking for then is then like the chemistry between the partnership. I feel like at that level I'm definitely judging the partnership. I'm looking for great musicality, beautiful artistry, creative choreography, because I'm assuming by the time you get to gold you already have all of those things in bronze and silver, which is just gorgeous footwork, lovely posture, excellent frame, good power across the floor. So I'm looking for that extra ingredient by the time we get to open and gold. You need to be wowing me with your individual style by that stage. As a female judge, yeah. how important is for you the grooming for the ladies? The grooming is so important to me. Attention to detail starts with your grooming. So if you go out on the floor without your hair done, without your makeup done properly, with a shabby dress on, with dirty shoes, that to me just immediately says like that's how you, you know, a, take your dancing, that's how you go into lessons, that's how you put your time, you know, if you don't pay attention to the details of your grooming, then you're obviously not with your dancing. I know that doesn't sound fair, but that's the first impression that you're giving me. So sometimes, you know, if someone's not well groomed and they're an amazing dancer, you can obviously look past the grooming, but the whole time in the back of your head, you're like, well, if you're spending that much time and that much energy and that much effort into your dancing, why couldn't you do that last little bit that puts it over the top and like take care of your grooming as well? The second thing is if I have two dance, like these competitions are brutal, like we're judging just, you know, eight couple finals and a split floor with two couples on the side, like it's just outrageously hard to judge. So if I've got two girls dancing, uh, or two guys dancing, and they're a very equal level, but one of them is just impeccably groomed and the other one has just not put the effort in, I'm going to give the person who's you know put the effort into the grooming the advantage. It's as simple as that. If you look sloppy, that to me is just giving away a mark right there. When do you start judging? Because some people say that they start yeah. when they walk onto the Correct, floor. Absolutely. Sometimes I've, all, you know, this is going to sound bad as well. Sometimes I've judged before you even take hold. You can just, just because you can tell how people present themselves, how they walk on the floor, how they focus with their partner, how they take that handhold, how they walk in, you know, how they stand and like feel the music as it starts. You can see all of the training within that first two seconds. I, I'm not sure if any of you have read the book book Blink, but Blink is taking like just a slice of moment and just making snap judgments and sometimes I judge very very quickly like within almost like four bars of music I've already judged I've like I've seen all I need to see in that amount of time then I'll go back and check you know quite often I judge really quickly and trust my gut instinct and then I'll go back and I'll check and spend time looking at footwork and looking at you know a few more details but I'm telling you that first impression is everything Read the book Blink. If you haven't read the book, read the book and that makes things very clear. Thank you very much. Yes, no problem. Thanks, team.